you know, I think you have to go at it with that idea that uh, it isn't it isn't traditional education. It's providing um, information and some um, interaction and educational experience for people, but it's not what we would would traditionally consider working with students. You know, you can get. I mean, we we did get to know students. Um, some mm-hmm. students, not all students, but we did get to know some who were, you know, really um, involved in the discussions. And I think you need to make sure that that interaction is built in, that you expect students to be interactive. Mm-hmm. And um, sometimes students even get into traditional online courses, they don't realize that they're supposed to be interactive, that you're, you're going to require them to talk to each other. There was peer review of the writing because you cannot review the writing yourself. There's just no no way you can do that. So. Um, the teachers did really detailed rubrics um, that you have to follow. And the system, Coursera system, um, has a, it's got a really nice peer review component where um, students have to go through it in order, you know, they have to address the rubric in order to get through the exercise. So, um, you know, we were able to do a detailed rubric. Students submit their writing. They're put in a group by the, by the platform, puts them into groups. Um, they submit their writing. They review each other uh, in groups of five. The high and the low are dropped out, and their um, their grade or their score is based on the average of the other three. And t- in talking to students, they said that reviewing each other's work was a bigger learning experience than doing their own work. Mm-hmm. So because of the rubric, 